We begin tonight with a look toward the tropics. That's right. Our weather team monitoring two areas of interest. For more on this, let's bring in meteorologist Kristen Walla. Kristen, talk to us about what you're tracking right now. Hey there, y'all. Like you said, we've got two areas of development, two tropical waves. I'll touch on this first one here that's a little bit closer to us, just to the east of the Windward Islands right here. It's got some disorganized storm activity. You can see here on the satellite right there, those clouds. That's the activity. Over the next couple days, the conditions for this area of uh, interest will become a little bit better for development as it moves uh, across the, the east and into the Central Caribbean. The next one is a wave that's still on Africa, so National Hurricane Center expects this wave to move off the coast of Africa over the next couple days into late week and into the weekend. And again, these uh, conditions here could become a little bit more conducive for some slow development. And I'll take a look at those here in just a second. But you can see first here lots of Saharan dust over the Atlantic, and the forecast for that is that this uh, second wave here is going to be dealing with a little bit more compared to this wave way out ahead of this next plume of dust and Saharan dust again. It's bad for tropical development because it dries out the air. But one thing that's good for development is warm sea surface temperatures, particularly temperatures around or over 80 degrees. And you can see both of these, especially this one here closer to the Caribbean is well on its way to get some of this moisture and fuel provided uh, by those warm waters. Just a reminder, we're about two and a half weeks away from from the peak of hurricane season right up here, right up here at September 10th. We are right here again, well on our way, and both of these systems are a sure sign that the Atlantic is waking up. Leslie, Rudy, 